oh, how can we work towards AI alignment, which seems uh, to be neglected uh, a lot today. Yeah, so the latest estimates I've heard about the number of AI safety and AI alignment uh, researchers around the world counts in a few hundred, maybe three, four, perhaps 600 researchers. And that is so little compared to the tens of thousands uh, of, of uh, AI capabilities uh, researchers. Uh, and uh, not surprisingly, uh, AI alignment is really lagging behind. Uh, it's not that there aren't any ideas about uh, how to uh, move forward uh, on AI alignment, uh, but no one has yet presented a plan that convincingly shows that uh, this is going to work. Um, the uh, most commonly used um, alignment-like method in practice is what is called reinforcement learning with human feedback, which is what OpenAI and some of these other leading companies uh, are using to try to uh, tame their uh, large language models and, and prevent them from, from saying bad things, prevent them from saying racist and sexist things and prevent them from helping users do uh, criminal or immoral acts. If you ask um, ChatGPT uh, how to hotwire a car or how to cook methamphetamine or whatever, uh, OpenAI wants ChatGPT to refuse those kinds of, of, of uh, 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 helping with, with uh, illegal things. And this is done with uh, this RLHF uh, technology, reinforcement learning with human feedback, where basically you have lots and lots of human users uh, responding to uh, different um, answers given by chat GPT in various com concepts by giving thumbs up or thumbs down, de depending on whether uh, the answers are in line with the restrictions that OpenAI want to have in terms of not saying bad things and so on and so forth. And uh, this is a methodology that has had some success. It's not full success because uh, we've seen lots and lots of examples of, of uh, ChatGPT and other large language models uh, breaking these rules. Uh, there's something called jailbreaking, which has come, became last, early last year something of a popular sport where you employed various tricks, users employed various tricks to, to get uh, ChatGPT to, to break these rules. But more importantly, it is fairly well understood by now in the AI safety community that this method uh, is not going to work uh, as we uh, start getting uh, superhumanly um, uh, capable uh, AIs. And in particular, it's not going to work uh, when uh, AIs reach the level of situational awareness uh, and, and, and other um, uh, capabilities uh, that makes it understand when and when not it can deceive us. And, and, and this seems to be uh, a huge obstacle to this particular alignment uh, methodology. So we need other things. Other things are on the table, but all of them have problems with this uh, deception thing which we have already seen small signs of in, in, in uh, various examples of applica and applications of these uh, large uh, language models. People have done computer experiments where, where they have, where they can see this type of uh, deceptive behavior. So we need to figure out something else. Uh, and there's really nothing there's no foolproof plan on the table. And we're even at the point where 
open AI. Uh, um, sometime, I think this last summer or maybe in September last year, they launched this uh, super alignment project where they uh, aspire to solve the AI alignment problem in such a way as to work all the way up to AGI and, and uh, super uh, humanly capable AIs. And their main idea is this. Okay, alignment seems really, really hard for us humans. So how about if we create an AI that is smarter than us at solving this problem and it can solve the, solve the problem for us. So in short, we are worried about what highly advanced AI can do. So we create a highly advanced AI to solve the alignment problem for us. This could work, but it's a huge leap out in the dark. Uh, and and uh, it's very, very easy to imagine this failing in, in spectacular ways. But OpenAI have given themselves a deadline of four years into the future. This was done in 2023. So this means that they are hoping to finish this by 2027. And that also gives a sign of uh, what kinds of timetables they have for uh, the emergence of what they think may be uh, dangerously uh, capable AIs. This is a very, very worrying uh, situation. And uh, this is also why, if you read the first edition of my book from 2021, all my focus in solving this problem was putting more resources into AI alignment and, and trying harder to, to solve this problem. Uh, but I was quite dismissive of the other approach, which would be to slow down AI development. We have this like a kind of a race between on one hand AI capabilities going faster and faster, and on the other hand, AI alignment trying to catch up. And if we reach super intelligent AI on the capability side before AI alignment has been solved, then we are really, really in trouble. I was pushing for doing AI alignment faster, but I said it's naive to try and slow down the, the um, uh, AI capabilities part. But since then, I and many others have changed our mind and think that the situation is now so urgent and so dire that with the current speed at which uh, AI capabilities is, is developing, there really isn't most likely enough time uh, to to um, solve the AI alignment problem. We need more time for that, and therefore we need the leading AI companies. OpenAI, um, Google DeepMind, uh, Anthropic, and maybe a few others to pull the brakes, to slow down, to, to give AI alignment a, a chance to catch up and, and, and uh, really ha have the chance to, to create a uh, happy ending to, to this. Uh, I mean, it's really a magnificent uh, idea to create superhumanly capable intelligence. I think that it, it's, it's the, in some sense, the greatest project in, in the history of humanity. But if we don't solve AI alignment, it might also be the very last thing we do. Mm -hmm.